a 50 count indictment charging 41 people of drug trafficking in cocaine, heroin, meth, and fentanyl, as well as money laundering. Those charged are alleged to have sourced the drugs from Mexico. More than three dozen charges as federal prosecutors bring the hammer down on an international drug smuggling ring, and it appears a brutal Mexican cartel has been pulling the puppet strings. Joining us now is former DEA special agent Derek Maltz. Derek, what do we need to know about this? Well, it's law enforcement once again doing tremendous work protecting the citizens in America, saving lives. The CJNG is one of the most powerful cartels in the world, not just in America. They're making billions of dollars, and they're sending poisonous drugs into America at record levels. But here's the point, Dana. We can't rely solely on law enforcement. They need support. The White House has to step up. We need to decimate these cartels. They are international terrorists like we've never seen in the history of this country. Mm -hmm. All Americans should be aware that there has never been a terrorist organization that has killed or poisoned so many Americans. So I'd like to see some support from our government to help law enforcement, and God bless all of them for the great work that they've done. President Trump will be in Wisconsin today. He's going to be talking about this. He calls it Biden's border bloodbath. This is we learn about the known gotaways at the border. We have new numbers here. No gotaways recorded at the border just on Sunday alone, Easter Sunday, 919. Seven-day average of no gotaways, 761. So just if I'm doing the math here, by the chances are somebody that the cartel wanted to get into America was probably within these figures. So, so Dana, let me make it clear to your audience. We are at severe right now in America. This is the old Homeland Security warning. Even the Border Patrol chief, was on uh, uh, Face the Nation last weekend, and he talked about this is a national security threat. There was 140,000 gotaways, known gotaways he was talking about. But remember, we have over 1.8 million known gotaways. That's why this week, our team, Border 911, with CEO Tom Holman, is going down to Florida to rally up a bunch of American patriots and educate people in this country about the dangerous threats that we're all facing. This is not a red or a blue issue. It's red, white, and blue. All Americans need to wake up because we're being threatened with violent gangs and we're being killed. Our kids are being killed at record levels. So enough is enough. And by the way, we can't rely on Mexico and a soft on crime leadership down there and the corrupt leaders because our kids are dying at record levels. Is there one or two high priority policy changes that you would like to see done right now that could help stem the flow of the drugs coming across, the people coming across? Like if you could get the Biden administration or Congress or whoever it is to do what you think needs to be done, what would those two things be? Just listen to the frontline warriors. Listen to the guys that helped the former administration put policies like remain in Mexico in place, okay? and stop this catch and release. You have to have a deterrent. If you come here illegally, you have to face consequences. We must have law and order. Without border security, we will have no country. And get that wall up and keep these people out. You wanna come here, you come here and you go in line. And we, we welcome immigrants. We love immigrants in this country, but we can't have chaos. It's just not safe. Derek Maltz, thank you. And thanks for bringing us the information about the new group. We appreciate it. Thank you.